So if you guys were wondering, the XP breakdown, basically it's 100 points per kill if you are a survivor, 300 points per kill if you are infected. So technically, if you're not infected first and you kill yourself, you get way more XP than if you were to just survive until the end. That's my personal opinion, but you guys can see it in the video. I pretty much broke down the XP throughout each game, showed you guys what you get, basically, roughly, you know, everyone's different. So, of course, you're not going to get exactly the same numbers. That's obvious. Travel as a pack. Travel as a pack. Toasty! Everything's better when you travel as a pack. Alright, you get 100 points per kill. And I believe when you're infected, you get 300 points per infection. Yeah, I guess we're going to find out. Yep, you get 300 points. So that's three times more than you get as a normal survivor. Which already concludes that being infected is probably the way to go if you want some XP. Just kill yourself if you're not first infected. But we'll do some more tests throughout the video. What are you doing in the corner? You are gonna die, my friend. I see you, I just don't have a tomahawk. You know, it's very simple to kill you if you're standing still. Don't be stupid. Nope. I even missed my tomahawk and killed you. That is kind of sad. Dude, that man has a sniper in the back corner. Alright, so I got five kills. Four of them being infected. One of them just being a normal survivor. 3,205 XP. That's kind of... Kind of ridiculous right there. I spawn in the middle of nowhere. I feel like I'm going to be infected first just because of that. Nope. Yo, if I sit here, will they even notice me? Like, I'm kind of hidden, right? They're all over there. Like, they're never even going to figure out that I'm over here. I'm just patiently waiting to die. Oh my goodness, hello. That guy just walked straight past me. He's going to die. Absolutely, there's three people on him. See how many people walk past me. If they go around this corner, oh, I'm dead. Oh my god. Hi! How you doing, buddy? <laughs> it's kind of creepy. Alright, so from hiding and not shooting a single bullet, I got 800 XP. I'm gonna be infected first, right? Nope. I did not mean to do- Okay. I'm officially an idiot. That's how I feel right now. Did you just- Okay, bye. Oh, you did not- That probably scared you, honestly. That would've scared me. I feel like someone's in this cart. Nope. Well, that's where I would've been. And that time, pretty much being first infected, I mean, I killed myself by accident, but I got 1,800, so that's even double what I got just chilling. Really, Arsenal Sandstorm? Come on now. Yo, this is impossible. I won't even know if they're in front of me until they're two inches from my face trying to kill me. I just saved your life. Whoa, bud. What the hell? Whoa. I didn't even know you could do this. What? That's not as good of an effect as Fortnite, but that's still kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. Come and get us! Oh boy, you ready, man? I'm not. Kind of nervous. Oh! What the hell happened? I didn't know my teammate died! Alright, that match. 2,226 XP. Being last alive and getting a few kills. I got you guys, relax. This time, I'm just gonna run around like an idiot and see what I can do. Oh, that didn't... Alright. You know, if your teammate wasn't there, you'd be dead. You did not pay attention. That is a personal problem. What's up? How you doing? Hope you're having a great day. That was fast. That was literally like two minutes. 2,839 points. So hiding is definitely not the way to go. I would say just get yourself killed, become infected first. That's how you get some XP. But that's gonna do it for the video. If you guys made it all the way to the end, I do apologize for wasting your time. But if you did enjoy the video, go ahead and drop a like down below. Maybe even subscribe. Hopefully you guys have an awesome day and I will definitely see you guys later.